Hey everybody, this is Kevin Fleurledge with the Fleurledge Twins. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to dynamically show or hide a parameter or a filter based on the selection in another parameter. Over the past several months, I've seen a lot of requests on the forums about the ability to make one parameter show another parameter. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So in this case, we have, and this could work for filters or parameters. In this case, we want to, we have shown a, a, a biz where we have shown uh, sales by category over time. Or we can do a sheet swap and we can look at sales by geography. We can look at Eastern and Western. I have this kind of as a, as a territory and then we can switch between territory and region. As you see, when I click this, we get a new button that pops up. I can click this and we can toggle territory and region. Now the request has been, how do I get one parameter or one filter when I select it to show me the options for the other ones? And that's what we're gonna to do today. So let me kind of just show you the data and I've got this sheet swap thing going here. So we've kind of been going this for now, but again, sales by category over time. And then we have sales by region over time. And what I've done here in this calculation up here is, is do a, a toggle. I'm toggling what we're, um, what we're showing. We're showing region, and I've just created this sort of fake calculation called territory, right? So within this sheet, we can, we can toggle the two. Now, if I had a normal sales dashboard, I would show both of these parameters here. We got the one for the, for the sheet swap, category, and geography. But we have this thing sitting here too. So if I have category selected and I pick this parameter value for region or territory, it does absolutely nothing. That's because we're looking at category over here. It only works when we're working with this particular sheet. So like I said, over time, probably the last six months, I've been seeing this question time and time again. I've helped a couple of people do this. And uh, actually even one person from Tableau reached out on how to do that. So. I'm going to show you how to do it. I will say that it is not built into Tableau that you can make a parameter or a, or a filter pop up by uh, selecting a different value. So this is not innate uh, behavior in Tableau. So we'll have to trick it a little bit. All right, so let's see what we can do here. And I'll show you kind of the end result here. If I just kind of start at the beginning, you'll kind of see maybe a little bit what I'm doing here is category selector when I pick geography we get this extra little button that pops up I click that button then I can toggle between the two okay. that's what that's what we're going to do today that's the end goal all right so let's kind of start from the beginning let me just kind of go over here and just show what I did with the, with the sheet swap so uh, just with the normal sheet swap I've got this um, this parameter here and then I have the calculation that's equal to the parameter and for sales by category I just have category selected if I pick geography, you'll see that geography is not selected. So basically this gets filtered out. We have the same thing going with this one. On this filter, we only have geography shown and are checked and category is not checked. So when we create this dashboard, we could probably just start with this. When we create this dashboard, I've created a sheet swap in here. So I just tiled those. If you're not familiar with sheet swap, there's a good data school um, blog post on that. but. Um, we just basically tile both of these sheets into one container. Make sure you get rid of the titles and then we and then toggle. One gets filtered out and one doesn't. And we have this sort of sheet swap, um, resulting sheet swap here. Now what we want to do is make this thing appear and disappear. Okay, so you see we have this parameter. And this is really just kind of floating over something. And I want the, this to be kind of consistent. So... What we're going to do is first we're going to come over here and we're going to add this button so that we get this consistent look. So I'm just going to float an image on the screen, center, and we'll get it go here to shapes. And up here, and we're just going to pick this gray button here. And this is going to look a little sloppy to start. We'll, we'll clean it up later, but uh, we probably won't. I'm just going to sort of fit this on here. We can change this font to be uh, white and maybe make this a little bit smaller. But all right, so now we have a button. Okay. 
So what happens here when we switch is we do the sheet swap, but we want to be able to use this one as well. But we don't want to show this one when get categories take uh, showing because it does absolutely nothing. So how do we get rid of this? Well, what we can do is put this in a collapsible container. So I'm going to just drag out a vertical container. It doesn't matter if it's vertical or not. We're going to put that in that container. I'll just do it this evenly. Something like that. And then I'm going to show this button. Okay. What I'm going to do with this button is make it a transparent image. You've probably seen me writing a bunch about it. So I'm going to make this a transparent image. So let's go to transparent images here. Uh, which one? And then I'm going to come back to the item shown. Now we're just going to kind of put this here. And if I press the Alt key, you can kind of see maybe a little bit of what's happening. So then what I've done is create this button. This button is going to work sort of like the sheet swap works. So I've created a gray button. I put it in my shape repository. And when I pick geography, this button shows this group. This gray button shows. When I don't, it's blank. So if you just look at what I've done here, I've got a null value. It's basically show button or not. A null value. This is, uh, I've assigned a transparent shape to that value. And I've assigned this uh, gray shape to this value. So as we toggle, it kind of works the same way as that sheet swap. It's going to show it. It's not going to show it, right? So we can then take that button. And we can put it onto the dashboard. So we want to slide this with it. Make it kind of small, and then I'm going to float it to the back because, if you remember, we already have that transparent button on top of it. Okay. So you kind of see what happens when we switch to geography. That button shows behind it. small selected just have that sort of weird border around it all right we can deal with that that's close enough what we see what happens is we have category that button doesn't show but you can still see i do have that transparent button for the collapsible container but when i switch over to geography that button shows so it tells the user hey click the button and when you click the button you get this um, this menu where you can toggle that chart okay so let's close it open it back up now what we really want to do is just change this button I really just have a different uh, button on top of it let's see if you know where I put it let's see parameter up here let's close button supply it's a little bit big but you'll see that that's basically just covering up the button that's in the back. All right, so let's put this into full screen mode. We have our category. We can toggle with the sheet swap to geography, and then we can toggle within this to geography viz by clicking on this button and changing from territory to region. So like I mentioned, this has popped up on the forums a bunch. I've uh, helped some of at Tableau uh, do this and uh, had a friend reach out to me and helped him do this in one of his visualizations. Uh, you can check that out. Um, it's from uh, Manish Thakur. Uh, he has his Australia Viz and he has these different options here, different parameters. Um, but what he wanted is when you pick the, uh, I think it's this one, the GDP, you see what happens is this button pops up. He wanted to be able to allow the users to uh, switch between top and the top and GDP. So you can change this to 20 or 5 or whatever. And when you switch to something else, it's no longer there. So, so kind of a nice little method. I hope you use it. Uh, I'll make this available on Tableau Public for you to download and then break it apart and check it out yourself. All right, that's all I have for you. For more videos and blog posts, please check out FleurlessTwins.com. Thank you.